That goes everyone, no cyborg here. Tonight we're going to be booting up some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I have gone through the... I, what, what I've actually done is, um, like to try and make the story quick as possible, is I had gone through the... I've just recently gone through the Yuffie DLC. I've just gone through the demo and, uh, yeah, finally going to be booting up the, the actual game and that because, um, yeah, for a while I actually didn't think I was going to be playing this game because I was orig I originally bought the remake on the... Like, the first remake on PS4, and then when Rebirth was announced to be PS5 only, I didn't know if I was going to be getting a PS5, but everything, things changed, like, at the time I thought, I'm not getting one, because just, yeah, with things happening and that, and then, but eventually got one, so we're here. So anyway, enough stalling on, I've waited long enough, let's boot this up. I don't know why I said continue game, because I didn't even booted it up. <laughs> Please wait. Square. I actually, I did rush through the demo a bit because I didn't know, so I was like, didn't really understand the new controls and everything. So hopefully, uh, I'll just take my time with the with the actual main game. Additional content has been, yay! That's uh yeah, that's my pre-order bonuses, I think. I'll definitely have a look. Ooh. Ooh. So what do I get? A Kupo Charm and Survival... S yeah, because I did that. Yeah, because I did the Nibelheim, and then I did the actual, like, the Junon portion. So I'll get the Kupo Charm set. And then a Leviathan Summon set. Yeah. Gimme. Ayy. So where's the system? Yep. Yeah. Oh, but I don't want to. I'll, I'll definitely, I want to do it. Because, again, I rushed through that as well. Hey. It must be when you're in the main game. Okay. What about option? It must be, yeah, in the main game. What about low, <laughs> low game? Nah. Right, should we do the story so far? Let's do it. When there is so much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it, Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako. Ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company. Who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor One. In Sector Eight, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. 
and in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. That's a cool shot there, I like that. It was here that I, e, I'm looking forward to playing him. joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. And he's probably my top favourite character. And then Sid. During our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. Sephiroth. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova. The cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. Come in, goosebumps. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited. The whispers undulated. I really like the like the Nova theme, like. The remake version is so it just oh, sends chills. Sundering destiny. We fight one, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. God, it does. It looks. The difference from PS4 version to PS5, like, the difference is night and day. Anyway, what am I actually do? I might make that part zero, like, my pre-play. So, do my, like, little intro and do, like, my, like, watch that and everything and, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, I'll cut here and the next part will officially start.